hello everyone hope you are all doing well so welcome back to my another lecture of the control engineering board plot we were discussing about the board plot and already in the previous lecture i have discussed it about the introduction part of the body plot over there okay let us proceed for the numerical part which is the 20 marks in the vtu examination so let's try to solve okay before that you have to remember this board plot summary chart already in the previous lecture i have told you so remember this chart uh, in order to tackle the problems okay so i will take it aside so that i will show you value by value how to take these values of the chart over here okay so let's take the problem first so a unity feedback control system has g of s is equal to 80 upon s into s plus 2 s plus 20 i don't want to make this video too long dear friends if i try to solve uh, the problems in the video itself it will go uh, until 40 or 50 minutes or sometimes it will take one hour to write down these problems so i find it the better way to make down the notes first then in order to explain it it will take less time as compared to the writing part over here okay i hope you are comfortable with this method so draw the board plot determine gain margin phase margin uh, gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency frequency these are the four parts which you, uh, we should calculate over here and also you have to comment down on the stability so in order to solve these problems there are only three steps dear friends what is the first step first step is obtain standard time constant form already in the previous lecture i have given you this standard form you have to remember this g j omega g into j omega h into j omega this is nothing but s g of s h of s i am replacing s by j omega okay fine this is k into s raised power n 1 plus t 1 s 1 plus 2 zeta omega and s plus s square by omega square and this is the numerator terms are all called the zeros and uh, the terms in the denominator are called the poles you already know it from the root locus itself so uh, i have to make this particular equation in this particular format so only i have present here k k value is 80 no uh, simple zero no complex zero is present in the particular equation in the second part there is s raised power m it is s raised power 1 already here only s is here so m value is 1 so s raised power 1 into I have to make this equation in this format 1 plus t a times s 1 plus t a times s over here okay so let me make it first so obtain standard time constant form g of s is equal to 80 upon s into s plus 2 s plus 20 it is the given function and as it is a unity feedback so you can take it h of s is equal to 1 okay so g of s h of s is equal to 80 upon s into s plus 2 s plus 20 h of s is 1 so it will become g of s only okay so in the next step i will take 80 upon s is same i will take two common from this particular equation if i will take two common what i will get inside one that is two ones are two you are getting again plus s upon two if you are multiplying two into s is two s divided by two 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 will get cancelled you will again get the s plus two term why i am making in in this particular format as in the standard form there is one plus tas i have to make some uh, constant value here with the s so that it will become constant a uh, standard form so 2 into i will take 2 common into 1 plus s by 2 same 20 into i will take 20 common uh, inside i will get 1 plus s upon 20 whatever you are taking common if you are not understanding this step uh, if you are taking that number common you have to divide that number with the s over there respectively okay so if i taking 2 common in this particular term so divide s by 2 if you are taking 20 uh, common out of this term divide s by 20 you will get the required form so g of s h of s is equal to 2 upon this is 2 into 20 is 40 so 40 into 80 is nothing but 2 over here okay so see here dear friends it is 80 upon this is 20 into 2 is 40 this is 41s and 42s so i am getting 2 over here upon s into 1 plus s by 2 it is 1 by 2 times s that is 1 by 2 you are getting 0 0.5 times s okay next one is uh, 1 plus s upon 20 1 plus when you divide 1 by 20 you will get 0 0.05 times s so this is the first step to make constant time form form over here constant standard form over here okay this is the first step next step is discussion of factors whatever in the table i have discussed it in the previous lecture so you have to recall that table so for k k i am getting here 2 so k is equal to 2 for what i have to draw the slope for k so 0 at 20 log times k and phase angle is 0 so you have to draw a straight line of 0 degree and at 20 log 2 
so th that is 20 log k actually but k value i am getting 20 log 2 which is equal to 6.02 later on i will tell you what is this 6.02 in the graph itself when i draw the board plot you will clearly understood what is this 20 log 2 means over there okay so you should first remember how uh, we are tackling the problems how we should write the steps in the video examination next one is one pole at origin means next term is this one so first i have calculated the k value that is two so next one is one upon s this is pole at origin so one by s we have to take draw a straight line for this uh, one by s value see here one by s raised power m m is nothing but in this problem it is one over here s raised power one okay i hope you are following so this is 1 by s raised power m what is the slope value minus 20 into m m is 1 so you have to take minus 20 decibels per decade is the unit for this uh, so draw a straight line of slope minus 20 decibels per decade so minus 20 decibels per decade if you remember this chart dear friends the board plot is over you can easily get 20 marks by remembering this table only so that you can proceed the problem okay so i'm sure you will do it so draw a straight line of slope minus 20 decibels per decade intersecting zero decibels at one radian per second for omega c is greater or equal to zero in the graph part you will understand this part but remember here uh, always uh, all the uh, suppose if it is pole at origin simple pole complex pole they always intersect at zero decibels line it is in the semi log sheet when when i draw the board plot graph you will understood the zero decibels line also over there and for omega c is greater or equal to zero omega means frequency it always starts from zero it always ends at infinity in the later last part you will try to understand this when i get the infinity value so this is omega c you should always start from zero but in the first uh, second step after k after discussing the discussion of factors like k you have completed then whatever the step you will start one pole at origin one zero at origin you have to start the frequency value omega c from zero itself okay this is the second uh, part over here that is one pole at origin now in the another part <coughs> that is the simple pole simple pole is 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.5 s it is in the question so why uh, now we have to discuss this term 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.5 s first one was 1 by s now 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.5 s we have to take okay so this is your uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 s so in this particular term t t is 0 0.5 seconds it is in the format 1 plus t a s as in the standard form itself see here 1 plus t a s okay so this is 1 plus t times s so 0 0.5 seconds you know already frequency is equal to 1 upon t which is equal to 1 upon t value you should put 0 0.5 you will get 2 radians per second so omega c you are getting here 2 radians so straight line of slope minus 20 decibels why minus 20 just observe here this is the simple pole 1 upon 1 plus t a s is always minus 20 and angle is minus 10 inverse of imaginary upon real part later on we have to deal with this first of all you should focus on this uh, slope part slope for this uh, simple pole is minus 20 so minus 20 degree uh, decibels per decade for omega c we are getting two radians so greater or equal to two you have to take radians per second start with the zero in the previous step and then accordingly what is the t value you can calculate the frequency value next is simple pole again in the problem check here another one is 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.05 s now we have to discuss this factor simple pole 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.05 s which is t is equal to 0 0.05 seconds here t value then omega c is 1 upon t that is nothing but 1 upon 0 0.05 you will get 20 radians per second so straight line of simple pole is it is again at 20 degree minus 20 sorry minus 20 is the slope so minus 20 decibels per decade for omega c is greater or equal to 20 radians per second so this is second step so in order to make it a table for it so that you will uh, easily draw the board plot so factors whatever you have discussed so far frequency range and resultant slope so for k frequency range never affects okay draw a blank line resultant slope always uh, not affected in this particular case so draw a blank line blank line for k then one by s we have discussed these factors see here dear friends 1 by s we have discussed 1 by s we are getting minus 20 decibel slope so i am writing minus 20 decibel slope and frequency range you have to take omega c is greater or equal to 0 and in the next step what is the 
uh, what we call omega 2 so you have to write down omega c is greater or equal to 0 less or equal to 2 accordingly first and second step combination you have to take so that you will get frequency range and slope already i have discussed it then 1 plus 0 0.5 this term 1 plus 0 0.5 s so uh, what is the slope minus 20 take down the minus 20 and in the previous step whatever you are getting you have to add it so minus 20 minus 20 you will get minus 40 slope and what is the frequency range you will get 2 to this uh, next what is the next 20 radians so omega c is greater or equal to 2 less or equal to 20 you are getting the frequency range now in the another term 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 s what the slope you are getting minus 20 minus 20 and you had to take previous step minus 40 minus 20 you will get minus 60 hope you are following so it is frequency range will be 20 it is starting so 20 is less or equal to omega sorry omega c is greater or equal to 20 less or equal to another value is not present here so you have to take infinity that is what i have mentioned in the previous step that you have to start omega c from 0 itself and it will end at infinity so it is ending at infinity this is the second complete step the last step in the board plot is the phase angle see here this is step 3 phase angle in order to get the phase angle you have to take the basic equation what is given in the problem so it is 2 divided by s into 1 plus 0 0.5 s see here i am replacing s by j omega so g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 2 plus we have to take always the uh, imaginary and real parts just because we are discussing about the s plans or complex plans so here is only a real number that is 2 i am adding the imaginary number 0 j in uh, absence of the imaginary i can just write down the 0 j upon uh, what is the function s into in order uh, in order to put the value of s as j omega so i am taking s as j omega 1 plus 0 0.5 times s s minus j omega 1 plus 0 0.05 j omega means sorry it is s over here so i am taking j omega simply replacing s by j omega in this step then phi is equal to when you calculate this value in the kelsey part it is the kelsey part i will show you here so see dear friends you have to take angle angle is always equal to tan inverse of shift tan inverse of imaginary upon real part okay and what is the imaginary part zero upon real part is two so you are getting sorry this is real part is two bracket close you are getting zero degree so you will get zero degree here so i have skipped one step so i will show you step by step this particular part over here so see dear friends you will get phi is equal to this is indicated by phi phase angle this you are getting zero degree over here right then j omega you have to take it is already a imaginary part so when i get the uh, tan inverse of suppose you will get here tan inverse of imaginary imaginary part is omega upon real part is not present here so it will get zero so tan inverse of infinity you are getting here so always remember tan inverse of infinity is equal to 90 degree right it is in the trigonometric part itself slc you have read about tan inverse of not defined is equal to 90 degree so whenever you are getting this format you will get uh, what we call the tan inverse of not defined is equal to 90 degree in order to avoid this step also you can there is the another way of solving this problem let me show you there is the uh, one is the rectangular form another is the polar form okay so i can write here the real part is zero first set up the complex mode as two you will get i here so write down what is the real part present in this zero plus imaginary part is omega so i can write i times means this eng button you have to put so eng i uh, and omega omega is not present in the kelsey so you can write down alpha x any variable so this is zero plus i x polar form you have to convert it into the rectangular form okay sorry this is rectangular form you have to convert it into the polar form so simply option and one one you have to put down you will get the angle which is equal to angle is 90 degree this this part is the magnitude and angle it is shown here 90 degree that is what i have written in the previous step tan inverse of infinity is always equal to 90 if you are not knowing this value you can uh, try this step also this way also you can solve this i hope it is clear so tan inverse of infinity is nothing but 90 degree i can write down 90 degree and uh, yes 90 degree so another part is 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega i can write tan inverse of a real uh, sorry imaginary part upon real part what is the imaginary value that is 0 0.5 omega upon one real part is one another one is tan inverse of one plus uh, sorry tan inverse of imaginary part that is 0 0.05 omega upon 
real part is 1 so this is the equation when I just uh, transfer this term in the numerator part you have to take always these denominator value as negative and uh, numerator values you have to take positive okay so these uh, denominator values will become negative in the numerator part when you just calculate this phase angle equation so see here I have written phi is equal to minus 90 why 90 I have taken in the numerator it will become minus 90 this tan inverse in the denominator is positive you have to take negative it in the numerator that is tan inverse of 0 0.5 omega minus tan inverse of 0 0.05 omega that is I have skipped one step so that in order to understand that is why I taken it over here okay I hope it is clear so this is your phase angle equation so next step is you can uh, just get omega that is phase cross over frequency omega c from this equation also but uh, in the board plot itself graph itself you will get that value but you have to take this omega c value over here so that you will get some idea which how many values i have to take in this table which i will discuss later on so first of let me uh, complete this equation so phi is equal to this equation you have to take phi value as always 180 degree minus 180 degree it is the reference line in the board plot okay later on i will show you what is the reference line and again so it is always minus 180 degree is the reference line for phase angle okay so when i am taking minus 180 so see here in the kelsey part 